In human females, oogenesis, or egg formation, takes place within the ovaries. Each ovary contains diploid cells called oogonia, derived from embryonic germ cells. Before a woman's birth, the oogonia divide by mitosis. The result is more oogonia, some of which develop into primary oocytes. Primary oocytes are immature egg cells contained within masses of cells called follicles. The primary oocytes then enter meiosis I. This process stops uncompleted until puberty. No primary oocytes are formed after this point. At birth, each female has a finite number of primary oocytes available for reproduction. At puberty, a complex series of hormonal events stimulates changes in the surrounding follicle and induces some primary oocytes to complete their first meiotic division. The division of cytoplasm and cell organelles is unequal, however. As a result, one large secondary oocyte and one small polar body form per primary oocyte. The polar body often degenerates. The follicle containing the secondary oocyte continues to mature until a surge of the hormone LH initiates ovulation. The mature follicle ruptures, releasing the secondary oocyte. At this point, the secondary oocyte has entered meiosis II. This second meiotic division will not be completed, however, unless fertilization occurs. The secondary oocyte enters the oviduct, where fertilization of the oocyte with a sperm cell can occur. The entry of a sperm cell into the cytoplasm of the secondary oocyte triggers the completion of meiosis II. The cytoplasm divides unequally, generating a mature ovum and a second polar body. The fusion of the haploid sperm cell and the haploid egg cell has produced a diploid zygote.